Submissive and breedable explained. I feel like we just need to watch this one. I just feel like this is very important to watch alongside. I've been disappointed because we asked the question, does a MILF have to be a mother? And I, I, I told you class that no. I think the conclusion we, we drew was that a MILF doesn't literally have to be a mother. Okay. Marissa Tomei, the actress who plays Tom Holland, Spider-Man's aunt, May. I, I, was very, I thought it was clear. I, we did the readings, we went over it in class, but I guess some of the students were simply not paying attention. I had a lot of comments saying that Marissa Tomei, they said, Professor, that's a cougar. I appreciate the effort. I appreciate that the cogs are turning, but there's mm -hmm. just something you're not quite grasping. Very good. It's very similar to like a square is a rectangle, but a yeah. rectangle isn't a square. Parallelogram, I don't know. It's something like that. A square is a parallelogram. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Rectangle is a parallelogram, but a rectangle is not a square. So from Urban Dictionary, a cougar is an older experienced woman who happens to find herself in a relationship, committed or not, with a younger man. I think it's the most basic explanation. Uh, going is. further. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's not necessarily desperate. She offers expertise and is open to new experiences. She simply wants to have fun. Though older, she may actually look younger. Um, attractive, confident. She's not in- What I think of Kugar, uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, How I Met Your Mother, where Barney tried to tame the Kug. Cougar? Cougar? <laughs> a cougar chase or a milf is chased. Hmm, very true. She has mother energy, that's what makes her a milf. That's a really good point! Interested in drama or games, as uh, that would interfere with the pleasure she enjoys from Urban Dictionary. A milf is different. This is where we sort of get into the more abstract side of things. We talked about this this idea of a MILF, uh, summarized by, someone might say just, she's MILFy. You know what I mean? Cla Chat, give me popular examples of MILFs. Go. <laughs> and there's a, there's a difference between, like, someone who's overtly attractive and, and sexy, and, and, and a MILF. A, what I don't like about people saying, that my Voice analysis of Marissa Tomei as a milk uh -huh. is incorrect and that she uh -huh. is a cougar is because I think the main thing is that a cougar is looking for it. Like the animal that it references, the cougar's on the hunt. The cougar is in the jungle. It's yeah. hunting for the prey, yeah. the younger male. But a milf is, is subdued behind this veneer of maturity this and, and caringness. <laughs> it's almost like a forbidden fruit type thing, right? Like, oh, that's, that's naughty. That's, that's, you know, burrito. that's not allowed. <laughs> but a cougar is on the hunt. And that's the distinction. And, and not just, and not only a motherly figure, because, you know, it's very obvious that an aunt is definitely a proxy for a motherly figure, but just and villain there are rental e coins that are under the company mods and people have always removed the lower part of the e so it spells most oh i have seen that i have seen that so many times that i've been wanting to take pictures of it but the car drove by so quickly so i couldn't <laughs> i've seen it i've seen them and i love them i love them every time motherly vibes you can have a feeling and, and part of that motherliness is not like oh i'm gonna fuck you too aggressive that's a cougar. MILF is different. I oh, hope we clear that. I really don't want to see some misinterpretations of MILFiness. So okay. I, was, I was very shocked at the number of students that had this misconception. So let's just make it clear. Oh, also, no. I'm glad panic? people are finding, uh, are finding the, the lectures. Is that how you say it? Um, uh, mostly thanks to my ground, dare I say groundbreaking. Basically, uh, uh, the, the Professor Lando Venn diagram of submissive and breedableness. This is this is going to be a more in-depth look in my submissive and breedable theorem. Please. So this will be a preview into a future lecture, which is uh, the the Fembology lecture, ancillary to the Fajoshi Yaoi lecture. It might stand alone based on how the curriculum is panning out. The submissive and breedable Venn diagram is my theorem, originally created when I worked in the Fembology department. Okay, and and you know some would say that our I'm not proud, but some would say that our experiments on the femboys were 
maybe a little short of ethical. Some would say maybe a little unethical. And, and yes, but it was a different time. <laughs> the dye drink, meal replacement drink in Sweden got marketed as milf chain? <laughs> And, Amazing. And, and yes, reflecting back, I can say that I, I do regret some of the things we did to those femboys. But Wait, society what? was able to progress. And I think that's what's important here. For the sake of humans, seeing their potential maximized, sacrifices must unfortunately be made. And some of the femboys were lost. But no! uh, part of that, part of those advancements is that uh, I was able to come up with this theorem. So, so here we have submissive. Yeah. Here, we have breedable. Okay. You can see right here where, where they cross. This cross section yes. is known. This is the bussy. <laughs> this is the bussy. We're sub it always comes back to the bussy. Submissive and breedable <laughs> meat. There, there's more to the theorem. You can introduce additional <laughs> layers to it. And we'll just do one example right here. Uh, what's the point of a theorem if it's not applicable, if there aren't applications of it in real life? So an example of the submissive and breedable Venn diagram, you can start to apply things. Here, what, is, what do we have here? If you add- What's down there? French classical music- Wait, what? To the submissive and breedable Venn diagram, we get another section- What? Right here. You what's see that? that? Right there. And yeah. what do we get? Debussy. <laughs> Debussy. Claude Debussy. To be exact, the French Impressionist <laughs> composer, <No! laughs> Debussy, French Impressionist composer. Though he would not admit to himself to be an Impressionist composer, he very much disliked that term. But again, submissive, breedable, Bussy. Submissive, breedable, French classical music, Debussy. We talk about applications. He's cooking chat! I'm very happy that some academics have been able to apply my work. Oh shit, Here. there's one more. There's one Professor more! Lando, me! Submissive oh, and breedable me! And the crossover with Professor Lando up here. Yeah. This is What's that? where the profussy is. <laughs> Submissive and breedable. <laughs> That's where the bussy is. Submissive, breedable, <laughs> French classical music, the bussy, French impressionist composer. Submissive, breedable, Professor Lando, <laughs> pro fussy. <laughs> Looking like Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings now. Deeply turned on, could you explain why? It's probably the sweater vest. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. Uh, Shang-Chi and the Ten Bussies. Mm -hmm. I'm Shang-Chi. I do have my pre-planned <laughs> curriculums for the semester. But if you want to see <laughs> Professor, if you want Professor Lando uh -huh. to cover a topic, perhaps give a full lecture yes. on something, a topic that, you know, what I maybe don't do? have pre-planned, but you, you have something. Uh, go ahead and let Professor Lando know. I, this wasn't right, in the original right, curriculum, right. but we got a comment on YouTube asking Professor Lando. They asked, can you do a lecture on Omegaverse? And I was like, yes, I can the do Omega a lecture Verse. on Omegaverse. And so if you guys don't know what Omegaverse is, that's okay because Professor Lando what will be the covering Omega that. Verse we chat? are the Ligma University cat boys. Oh Nya. yeah. Let me hear you, let me hear Nya. you, Nya. That's right. Ligma you, Nya. Nya. <laughs> Can I transfer to Sugma State or is it too late? <laughs> the yeah. cheer uniforms. Uh huh. The cheer uniforms with the uh, cat tail plug. <clears throat> what? Okay, so Baps, that's the thing. Uh, Ligma University's cheerleaders are all femboys. <laughs> are all boys because it's, I know, you know, some people. Can say you explain it's a the fate of universe? Oh, Lord. Right. Oh, Lord. The barriers. Um, but it's just tradition. When they're out on the when, when our player okay hold on let me think when our players are out on the field yeah and they're they're bringing home the gold for Ligma U against our rivals at Sugma State and they look over and uh, see uh Sugma State. and see the fanboy cheerleaders we got you know oh yeah it pushes them just a little further beyond get a little oh, bit yeah. more of that test flowing and they can just get that dub for Ligma U. Okay, I don't know if that one. Sh I don't know if that was. Uh... All right, let me demonstrate. Let me get the school colors. Here oh. at Ligma U, we bleed orange and blue. Hell yeah! And it's actually strategic. It's a strategic thing to give us an edge during the games because when they s what does this look like? The, let me move over, <laughs> the, chat. The neuron activation <laughs> from its strategy. Whatever we can do to get ahead. 
whatever we can do to get ahead. And this is how Ligma University um, Sports stays ahead of the curve. Dirt Slurper, volunteer to clean the tail plugs. That's actually, you know, I don't mean to, to put you down, but it's very presumptuous to say you volunteer. The tail plug cleaner is actually a very sought after position here at Ligma University. <laughs> and you actually have to submit an application yeah, to the student union. And that they is go true. That is true. They are very selective. I unfortunately got declined for all of that role. So but they go through thousands of, of applications, but I do appreciate the enthusiasm. And again, so I don't mean to put you down, but it, that is how, how it works. I unfortunately got put down. Oh, there's an application for. Obviously, obviously there is. What do you mean? <laughs>